In this video, we'll be looking at how to insert reference images into your designs. I'll begin with a 2D sketch. I'll select Create 2D Sketch in the XY plane. Then I'll come up here to the Insert command and I'll choose Image. I'll choose the image I'd like to reference and just select anywhere to place the image. I'll right click and choose OK to complete the command and then reorientate myself so we can see the whole thing. Now, to make this as predictable as possible, I'll choose Project Geometry, pick the center point, and then just use my constraints to constrain my image to the center point. I'll choose a horizontal to constraint and choose OK to complete. Now, scaling this image is a little bit awkward, and I'd like to show you how that's done. First, I'll come up to my parameters manager and create a new parameter called scale. And I'm going to make this a unitless parameter and give this a value of one. And I'll choose done. The next thing to do is to draw a line across my sketch relative to something I'm confident I know the dimension of. Choose OK. And then I'll dimension this. And just leave the dimension as it is times scale. And once again, I'll dimension the sketch itself, leaving the value as it is times scale. OK, I'll open up my parameters manager. Now I'm looking for this value, so I'll just select the value and I'll control C to copy that value. Then I'll open up my calculator and I happen to know this line needs to be 132 millimeters long. So I'll choose 132 divided by control V to paste in the value I've got. This should be the reciprocal that I need. So I'll right click and choose copy, paste this into the scale box, and now this is now 132 millimeters. So now I've done that, I can actually get rid of this geometry. I don't need that anymore. I don't need this anymore. And I can just use a fixed constraint to fix that down. Right click, choose OK to complete. So now I have my reference image in there. I have it scaled to the right size, but I just like to make the background transparent. Now you can see here that I've dropped this image into an image editing program and made the background of this magenta. And the reason I've done that is when I expand down here, and right click on the image, choose properties, I have the option here to use the transparency mask. When I select that, Inventor will choose the bottom right hand pixel of the image and whichever color that pixel is, it will make transparent across the whole image. So in this case, by making the background magenta, it's just a nice, easy choice for you to see. I'll choose OK and finish my sketch. And that's my reference image placed in, ready to be sketched over the top of and used as part of my design. 